Hey everyone, Azura here. After yesterday's firestorm leak, we got even more news for you today. A tutorial trailer has just been leaked and has confirmed a lot of info we found out yesterday. I do want to emphasize that even this is likely an official video, it may contain early gameplay elements that may be changed or completely removed in the final release. I'm going to note a few interesting things I find in this video that are not already mentioned in the previous one. So let's begin. Just like many other BR games, you can carry two primary weapons. You can carry a sidearm in addition to the two weapons. It is unclear whether you have to get better backpacks in order to do that though. You're also going to have a shield and 150 health if you increase the time to kill to better match a BR game mode compared to the base game. In this clip, you can also see that the armor may come in slots, and perhaps a damaged one can be swapped for a brand new one. The trailer also mentions that you can use your sidearm while downed, but that may only be a possibility if you actually acquire a pistol of some sort. You may only be able to crawl if you only have two primary weapons. Here you can spot the plane that you parachute from. This is most likely the Junkers JU-52 German transport plane. It is possible that this may be added to the base game in the future for the airborne mode for German troops. If you don't already know, the current game mode has both the British and the German troops jumping out from the C-47 transport plane. Here we see the helicopter which is the Flatner FL-282 Colibri. It is one of the first mass-produced helicopters in Germany produced by Anton Flatner. Historically, it is a single-seat helicopter. There is also a two-seater variant, but it appears that the Criterion has taken the liberty to make it a three-seater here. Here we see the Volkswagen Schrammwagen. It is an amphibious four-wheel drive off-roader used extensively by German ground troops during World War II. It was also the most mass-produced amphibious car made in history. And that's it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you think the video has earned it. I will now play the full video for your enjoyment. Firestorm Fight for your life in Firestorm, a real game mode playable in solo, duo, or with a squad. You will begin each game by parachuting into the vast open world. Pick your landing spot carefully. Landmarks can be rich in loot, but also full of danger. Objectives and safes are scattered throughout the map. Acquiring them gives you access to reinforcements, rare loot, and epic combat vehicles. Vehicles can turn the tide of an engagement and carry you great distances, but they can also reveal your location and be countered with anti-vehicle weaponry and gadgets. When you find a weapon, be aware of its rarity. A common gun is a good starting point, but an epic has advantages like scope, extended magazine, and reduced recoil. Each weapon class uses its own ammunition type. You can only carry a limited amount, so manage your inventory wisely and share your loot amongst your squad. Backpacks found throughout the map can expand your inventory capacity, allowing you to carry more weapons, gadgets, and armor. Firestorm is an even playing field, and there are no class-specific benefits. If you're downed, you can still fire a sidearm and be revived by allies, but once you bleed out, or are finished off, you are out of the game. There are no second chances in Firestorm. Scavenge. Fight. Survive. 